In this deck, I'm going to introduce the concepts of metadata and content types and why these are useful to us in SharePoint. So to begin with, I'll discuss metadata. So what is metadata? Well, the IT industry definition of metadata is data about data, which isn't a particularly useful definition. So rather than consider that, let's consider something we perhaps know more about, which is an MP3 music file. So I have here a music file from Britney Spears. Uh, if I was to right click on that and view the properties, I would see a screen much like this. So this contains fields of information which describe the file. So we have there the title, the rating, obviously five stars, a contributing artist, um, the album, the year, the genre, which is pop music, and slightly more technical at the bottom, we have the bitrate. Now, what these fields of information enable the computer or the MP3 player, such as an iPod, to do is find and group files of similar type very, very quickly. So say, for example, you wanted to listen to music from a particular artist, that could be Britney Spears, your MP3 player or computer can find all of those files very, very quickly because the metadata is there. Similarly, if you wanted to listen to a particular genre, for example, pop music, your computer or MP3 player can find all of those files instantly um, because their metadata is there. So thinking about this in a more business context, when we save our documents into SharePoint, we need to tag them with the appropriate tags. So that could be a department or a particular part of the business so that when we come to find them and group them, we can do that quickly and efficiently, much like we do with our MP3 music files. So next we'll consider um, content types. So what are content types? Well, content types are a reusable collection of settings that can be applied to certain categories of content. And what this essentially does is enables us to tag different types of documents as appropriate. So for example, if we had a document for the marketing department uh, in, our, in our organization, we might want that to be tagged slightly differently to a document for the finance department. And using content types, we can ensure that the documents are tagged and saved in the correct way so that when we come to search for them and find them, it's much more efficient. So that's an example of what metadata and content types are and how we use them in SharePoint.